guys, I want to do a quick little thing. I was thinking of this project. I have these papers from flyers. I folded them in half and made some little pages out of them. I hope you can see that. I want to make little signatures. So I folded them <laughs> kind of evenly ish. I'm using my phone today to make a video here. So I kind of um, hoping that this will work, record and you can hear me because the video cameras are on the other side. And so what I'm going to do is make these signatures. Uh, this, I want to make a little sketchbook, mixed media, whatever, out of this paper and see how well that works. I recycle this newspaper paper from my delivering flyers for the newspaper from the biggie. So we'll see how that works. See, and hopefully my bird doesn't go crazy on me or anything like that. See if I can sew this and make a... So there we go. Got one end done. And this is what it's going to look like. And that's my signature. And I'm going to have a little sketchbook with this uh, paper bag type of paper. It's going to be a long sketchbook, but it'll work. This um, paper is just really square, and it's the what pa paper we, we use for the top of the. They put on top of the newspapers. So then I guess when you take them apart, the stacks, the, the front to the top is, is not damaged from the, the straps that they have on there. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do these and make myself a little book. I am just, I got this in um, a giveaway entry from Dye. Um, inky fingers and I'm going to actually sew my edges on this and actually add it to my little journal I'm going to make here. But I love it and I do, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to crazily follow along the edge. Backwards, I didn't go back at first, but I'm just gonna do a little bit. I'm actually not gonna worry about going backwards because the paper's so thin, I don't want to wear it out. torn up pieces. I'm just going to pull them down, pull them, pull them to where they were originally. 
and see how much of that will stitch up. That's that. I'm going to pull my pulling on my paper a little bit too much here. Oh, I think I got stuck. No! Okay, just to show you guys what I've been up to with this sewing of the paper. <clears throat> so I folded my paper of course in half and had three signature, three papers folded and I sewed them together with a zigzag. And this is what I have. So I have them all together with an outer paper which I still have to add a piece of paper to come over the edge. Um, but here's my zigzag and I have three papers in there. Then I sewed them into the back of this paper. So what I did was I folded this paper to have four, I know it's hard to see, four um, pleats so then I could follow along. And this is the back paper. Now I have the four signatures in three papers each signature um, in, sewn into the back page. Now I just got to add a strip to make this back page longer, I have one piece left that I'm going to have to patch up. That's what I'm going to do. Use that for that strip. Hey, yeah, uh, that was rude. Sorry, guys. Now, what I'm going to do is add this paper here. Tear, please. And sew that for the book cover. So this is basically it now. Here it is, tied shut. I made the cover. Um, you could just tie it shut or whatever. I sewed everything on there. I gotta clean out my sewing machine and just bl blow out the dust and that from the paper because the paper makes a lot of dust. But anyways, I sewed this back and forth and then I tied a knot over it. Just to show you, I don't know if you can see that. Zoom that in. Can you see I stitched over? So this is my book. Scrap. This is a, a journal book I just made for myself. Shh. You, Chloe. So here it is. I put this in here. And I'm going to try to get... This is on my phone. I'm sewing upstairs. It's so dark downstairs to do a video. So this is from Dye. I uh, put that in there as a page. This is just for drawing. I'm not sure if I'm going to do any other medium drawing, coloring, that kind of thing. I don't know. But these are the covers of the papers so they don't get wrecked when you have the straps across. How they have those plastic straps across so they don't tear the papers. You can see where it's tearing this. But I'm going to patch them up somehow and figure that out. So I'm recycling these. It's nice to draw on. Um, so I'm going to do that. I thought I'd make myself a sketch journal book out of the junk from my mail. So I fold um, four creases in the back to make the, like, the cover. And like I said, these are all three signatures, and then there's four of them. I zigzagged the first stitch across when I had three papers on top of each other. And I just did a straight stitch in the book. That's that's them. And here's my other crease. Give it a little space. There we go. Just kind of throwing it together. No measuring, nothing. Just throwing it together. There's the center. Show you. See the center. And then I did the straight stitch over top onto my cover. Back cover. So I have one paper left over. And I used that to make it longer, so because it came just shorter because I had the 
the back of my book here is like so. So it's got, um, what's that called, you know, whatever this is called on the back of the book right now. I can't think of the name of the book. Anyway, so I added this on, this paper on, and because I was a little bit off, I wasn't measuring. Instead of cutting it off, I just made the flap come over. It's not perfectly straight. This is from Dye. It was tying the gifts together. And I just sewed that on. Tied a knot, sewed it across, back and forth, back and forth, and then tied it over where I sewed again. A little knot. So I can just do a little bow together. So that is my scrapbook. My junk, literally junk. So I'm going to draw some pictures in there and play and doodle and all that kind of stuff and, and see what I can do with it. Just for fun. Now I'm going to clean out my sewing machine going over here. So i got to take this all out here. There's going to be a lot of dust in here from the paper. And if I leave it, no, it's not going to be good. Oh, sorry, I'm not even aiming it. So if you're using the sewing machine, you can also tape, use duct tape or tape. i got to pull the couple of things out. Be very careful if you do that, that you really don't put something down and go do something else. So you put everything back just right and clean out all the dust in there. So this will come out and then you will pull this out and this will come out and then the third piece will come out so there's a few pieces and then you just blow it out with dry air or whatever um, and then you can continue but you don't want to get too much buildup of paper pulp or whatever paper dust in there just a quick another thing I want to show you is that I did a stitch straight stitch right across here and um, right across here so I have a little pocket here that's what I do with that one. And with this side, once I, I stitched it together, I fold it, refold it back out to make it a little longer so it wraps up around my pages. Right? So then when I close my book, I'll wrap around. Just kind of throwing it together. It's the easiest I could do. And um, resemble a book. And yeah, just have something now cool to play with. Thanks, guys. I hope you don't. I hope you do like this. Don't like this. Hope you do like this. Don't forget to crap like a duck. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.